Welcome back to The Inventor, uh, the search for Adam's next assistant. We've sent out all our care packages to the 10 semifinalists that are hard at work right now working on that home challenge, uh, but we wanted to check in with them to see how they were doing. Yeah, so we actually have uh, one of our first semifinalists on the line, Brandon Blizzard is on Skype right now. Hi Brandon, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? Uh, for your submission video, you built a really cool camera rig, and so it wasn't like, uh, you know, working with cardboard or even prop making or anything like that. Uh, what did you think yeah. when you first saw what the challenge was and what the materials were? My wife actually thought it was going to be just a roll of duct tape. Um, <laughs> I'm not too uncomfortable with uh, cardboard. Um, for a while, actually, uh, I lobbied to have my title changed to cardboardologist. Have you started thinking about what you're going to do at all? The top two that I'm thinking about are a uh, an old Canon SLR camera mm -hmm. with um, maybe like one or two interchangeable lenses or um, actually um, an impact driver that I have. Uh, I hadn't seen anything like that online, so I, I thought that would be at least unique. You mentioned uh, SLR camera. That's a lot of curves. Yeah, so I've actually started experimenting with um, molding the cardboard a little bit. I've been boiling it and then pressing it into a mold. I have a, a little mold I made. Um, you can see that there. Oh, wow. It's like a little hemisphere. Um, <laughs> I have a, um, a mold that I made actually for cake balls. It's um, of my head. So I, I took it and I, I pushed the cardboard in there. So there's my little <laughs> head out of cardboard. That is very cool. That. Like what's your work style? Do you build prototypes? Usually when I'm building something out of cardboard, I just go right for it. But since my cardboard here is like an irreplaceable uh, resource, um, I'm uh, prototyping it in other cardboard um, first and I'm modeling it all out. Very cool. Well, thank you, Brandon, for checking in. And it uh, looks like you're well on your way and we can't wait to see what you come up with. Cool. So it seems like Brandon's worked with cardboard before and has a pretty good plan of attack for you know, one or two items, whatever he ends up building. All right, so let's check in with our next semifinalist, Victor Caballero. Hey, Victor, how's it going? Uh, pretty good, thank you. Have you given some thought into what you might be making? I have a pretty good idea what I want to build. I've got to still draw up some blueprints and get some actual concepts done, but I have a good general solid idea. When you're building something, what's your normal process? Do you do a ton of planning or do you just jump right into it and get started? Honestly, probably 50% of the work is honestly just planning. I go crazy trying to get every detail down. If I can, I'll build up on the computer, I'll sketch it. Like I draw so many sketches just to get ideas down. So uh, the projects that you showed us, um, you made a, a lovely uh, Zelda box um, with uh, the engagement ring and also uh, the cardboard Wally. -E. So you've worked with cardboard before. But the, the home challenge is a little different in that we've given you a restriction on the materials you can use. How do you think that's going to be different from your past work? Yeah, the cardboard I really was happy about, but I'm usually used to hot glue instead of regular generic glue, which takes a lot longer to dry. It's not much different, but the time for drying is my biggest issue, so I just got to be slower and more patient than I usually am. So are you willing to tell us what you're thinking about building, or are you going to keep that under your hat? Uh, I can tell. It's not that big a secret. Um, I had actually a, a range of ideas, and eventually I settled on a old-fashioned phonograph. And I'm gonna have it so it's gonna be, it's a very ornate phonograph, a lot of detail and intricate design in the metal pieces, which will be cardboard. And I'm gonna have it have a gear system with the cardboard to actually have the uh, crank turn the, um, the disc. And I'm gonna put the phone in the phonograph so I could actually have music playing from it so it looks like it's actually playing music. Oh, yeah. that's, that's really cool. Uh, even though you're using a material as simple as cardboard, it seems like you like having them move and, and engineering some mechanics for them. Yeah, the more complex, the more it has function behind it, the more I like it. Basic, just generic statues or builds and stuff, it doesn't really please me, so I just wanna make things do stuff. How about detailing in terms of replicating something like a phonograph? Uh, are you planning on using the masking tape for that or, or the, the marker? Marker, maybe. If not, scratching into the cardboard just to leave images and imprints in it. And if not that, then I'm going to have to probably just resort to being very complex and intricate with the masking tape. Um, if I cut that into very thin lines, I could probably make a really good pattern with it. But. I have to see on that. Well, that sounds great, Victor. It seems like you have a pretty good idea of what you're going to do next, and I guess that'll do it for the Inventor this week. Come back next week when we'll check in with two more semifinalists and see how they're doing with that home challenge. See you guys then. Bye.